What are the seven most frequently asked questions on homeschooling? That's what we are looking at today in today's video. We want to look at those questions and just give you the answers that we have given to people who have asked us, you know, those genuine inquirers or even some who are wondering about this system. These are some of the answers we have given them and that's what we want to share in today's video. Welcome to Formations of a Noble Woman. This is a channel where we share matters, womanhood and the woman, seeking the mind of God concerning the same so that you and I can align our lives to His will and purpose. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and just hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload new content. I have a guest with me. I thought this is a wonderful time to engage my husband as we answer these questions together because I don't want to just talk about homeschooling and probably you're wondering what about the man. So we are answering these questions together but before we do that we will pray as is always our custom and just trust the Lord to speak to you and I. Indeed, Father God, speak to us as we seek to answer these questions because really the answers are not from us, but they are from you. So inspire our minds and just grant that you will be glorified in our lives and in the lives of the viewers. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. Let me invite him just to say something and then we will go straight into the questions. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he loves to say that if you look at our other channel and Facebook, really. <laughs> Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be unto all of us. Uh, my name is Moroga Murage. My uh, greatest passion is to uh, minister to young people that they may know the Lord and that Christ will be fully formed in uh, them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we work with my wife, uh, this is my wife here, and she invited me to come and share a few thoughts about homeschooling, and I'm so glad that I was able to come. We uh, do not only just uh, homeschool, but also we run a ministry together, mm -hmm. and we believe that uh, God in his time is going to fulfill our vision, which is a discipleship-inspired revival through evangelism and character training. Mm -hmm. So that's... Who I am, and that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Karibu sana. <laughs> to formations of a noble woman. Yes, and you know, formations also, we are in the body. So we need the men as well. Mm. Now, let's jump right into the questions. Question number one. I think this one is the most commonly asked. I mean, every time everyone will ask, mm. how do the children get socialized? I almost wanted to say, bring it on, then I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how about the answers. Yes. Uh, but the question, uh, that question, I've had it many times on phone, during forums that we meet with the people, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the people we have bested have asked that question many times. Mm -hmm. Those who are aspiring to homeschool or even to know uh, what homeschooling uh, uh, is about, mm -hmm. uh, socialization. And I, when I uh, hear the word socialization, I think about uh, how one relates with the other, mm -hmm. how one relates uh, with the society. Mm -hmm. Because I think the word society also comes from the word social. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it is how one relates to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, um, from, and I think it's from uh, relationships come from oneself, mm -hmm. then to the immediate family, mm -hmm. then to the extended family, mm -hmm. and then to the society, mm -hmm. and that is probably in the society's uh, tire, mm -hmm. that is where maybe school comes in, and many people would say that is where most socialization takes place. Mm -hmm. But I beg to, be, to differ there, mm -hmm. because I believe that the first socialization, as I said, is socialization with yourself and your God. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is uh, because God is also a person, mm -hmm. and you need to relate with Him, and Come to think of it, mm -hmm. the work of the parent is to help the child mm -hmm. relate with God mm -hmm. in the context that is safe, in the context that they are able to not to be pushed by so many other forces out there. Mm -hmm. So uh, homeschooling mm -hmm. um, is th that kind of environment because 
uh, there, there are parents, God has given, has given the child both parents, father and mother, mm -hmm. that those are the first people to relate with mm -hmm. outside now the, the realm of the spiritual where God is. Mm -hmm. And then the parents' work is to help the child, as I said, relate with God mm -hmm. and then relate with the immediate family, if, you, if there are people in the family. Mm -hmm. For us Africans, you know, we live with uh, uh, some of our family members nearby yes. or in the same house. Mm -hmm. So we, we train them. Mm -hmm. Uh, to relate and uh, we train them by relating with them mm -hmm. um, then the other one is society mm -hmm. um, now in the society I think that's where we find church and we are people who love church who believe that church is so important in the help in helping a person not only relate with God mm -hmm. but also relate with people yeah. so now that uh, we love church we also um, open up our children's mind mm -hmm. and hearts to the church. Mm -hmm. uh, there they get friends. Mm -hmm. Remember when we were in Nairobi, they, they were able to get many friends there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, even when we were in Nyeri, we, we have been in Nyeri now, mm -hmm. they, they are friends they are able to meet with. Mm -hmm. And then, what about now the uh, homeschooling context? Mm -hmm. uh, we have a group, a play group mm -hmm. of parents who are uh, our age mates or they, their children are uh, they are age mates mm -hmm. and we are able to relate mm -hmm. uh, with them uh, in the, uh, they, and they relate with um, the children mm -hmm. as we relate with the parents. Mm -hmm. And because they are parents with the same frame of mind, uh, the same aspirations in life, mm -hmm. the same vision, mm -hmm. for me I, I love to say secure mm -hmm. environment. I'm not the kind of a parent who will say Let's throw them to the world, let them learn what to, they need to do, let them relate with anyone, devil worshippers, whoever, and then they will... Because I believe that the best foundation is when you are able to bring your children, I uh, mean, to have a secure environment. Then when, like a nursery, I am a little farmer here, uh, you put the seeds there, and then uh, you are able to nurture them, water them, manure them, weed them, and then when they are grown to a particular level, mm -hmm. then you transplant them mm -hmm. to, the, to the farm mm -hmm. uh, and where you keep nurturing them, but there will come a time that they will be strong enough to stand on their own. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing I think about children. Mm -hmm. You nurture them in a nursery mm -hmm. and then uh, you, uh, you're able to take them out. So from a secured um, uh, environment, mm -hmm. uh, such socialization, then to the outward socialization. Mm -hmm. Steadily, mm. surely, and uh, objectively, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and just to add on to what you have said, is the fact that a lot of us, we think of socialization when we think of school. Mm -hmm. But I have often wondered at the socialization that happens now that we have been in school, mm -hmm. uh, where parents feel now their children are getting socialized. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the vices have come from. We have had children engage in weird sexual activity mm -hmm. because of socialization. A lot of uh, what happens on the playground, like I like to say, mm. we have children who are comparing each other's homes and some children coming back feeling really bad mm -hmm. because they don't add up, you know. So that I keep asking, is that the socialization? And, and then I also wonder, now that the schools are getting busier and busier, what time is there to socialize? Mm. Just on the playground for those few minutes, 30, lunch hour, 30 minutes, and that's it. Mm. Is that really socialization? So that I think we need to ask ourselves, what do we mean by socialization? Is it about that just children <laughs> being together? Mm. Ra what, what about you, the parent, creating the kind of socialization mm. you feel around mm. your child mm. that will develop them wholesomely? Mm. Not just about children, but relating with grandparents, mm. Relating with aunties, mm. relating with visitors, do they know how to receive a guest and to talk with confidence, you know? Mm. I mean, just to add on to that. So I think it's a question you would want to reflect a little more as a parent about how are your children getting socialized. You, have, you must have a key verse there. Mm. Luke 2.52. You once mm -hmm. used to memorize it. Right? <laughs> I don't know whether you still remember it. Yeah, and I know children should know this. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, in favor with God, God and, and with man. Yes. yes. 
Uh, I think that's the key verse about socialization. The next one is um, are the children able to engage in extracurricular activities? Maybe even effectively, you know, do they engage? Uh, well, you know, a few minutes ago I was telling my daughter we are going to sing a song that I've just composed. <laughs> And uh, we jump around, we are able to sing songs, mm -hmm. silly songs with the children, some that I make, mm -hmm. because I'm a composer of songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a writer of songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that is one of the activities that they do. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when I look outside there, I, uh, mm -hmm. I can see the, uh, the rabbit, rabbit house, house. Mm -hmm. but uh, uh, they have rabbits and uh, they are uh, able to remind them feed the rabbits and now it's become uh, part of the routine yes. about a bit of gardening mm -hmm. uh, I saw Bianzi, our second daughter uh, water the um, fruits out there mm -hmm. and uh, mm. they, we, that is gardening and that is also something that uh, they, they love to do now mm -hmm. they, love, they are growing to love such kind of um, and also we do keyboard mm -hmm. uh, around the house they engage in baking as well, uh, together with cooking as part of also their school <laughs> extracurricular activities. There's a season our daughter was learning how to do maths and mm. she did um, mat work. We, did, we, we didn't finish the mat with her mm. and then there's a season she learned how to crochet because we, I think these are some of the skills we are realizing are getting lost in our generation. Mm. They, we also, there's a season I just said one of our extracurricular is sewing, learning to sew because I just got to know, realize they may never learn backstitch, hemming, you know, all that. So those are some of the things we do. And uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that he can start uh, teaching them volleyball yes. because he used to be a volleyball coach. Not and used course, to be. Uh, is, you see, I'm are. still a, co a volleyball coach. <laughs> yes. You have not seen me in the field. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he, he teaches volleyball, and of course, swimming. Yeah, so those are just some of the extracurricular, but they also have their own passions that they love. Our daughter loves this. She's the one who helps us a lot with editing now. At her, her young age, she's growing in the same and um, drawing, you know, those things that they do on their own. And thank God for, you know, the weekends when they can pursue some of their interests. Mm. Yes. So I, I think just adding on to what he's saying, extracurricular happens because you're in charge also of the program and you just want to see what does your child learn. Just the same way they would do it in school. Though thank God in homeschooling you can pursue many others because I think in school there can be a structure. So you find yourselves just learning sport, maybe, you know, specific ones, but others are, are left out. Now that I know many students, for instance, who are leaving campus and they don't know how to cook. Mm. <laughs> you know, yes. So the next question. Can you homeschool even when you are not a teacher <laughs> uh, by profession? Well, uh, I would say really homeschooling would, could, could be done by anyone as far as they've gone, maybe even up to Form 4. Mm -hmm. um, but you are, you are at a high advantage if you've gone to college or campus mm -hmm. um, because in the ACE curriculum that we use, mm -hmm. we, are, we are fast trained. Mm -hmm. uh, the language of training is English, so you mm -hmm. need to know a bit of English, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And through that training, then you are anyone mm -hmm. who is able to understand, be committed to the program, to the different things that we have to do, mm -hmm. uh, the drills that we have to do in class, mm -hmm. I think anyone can train. Mm -hmm. Yes. So my wife is... is I don't think has any orientation mm -hmm. in teaching, mm -hmm. and she does a marvelous job. And uh, Thank you. <laughs> and for me, I I taught for seven years, and I don't think I have any advantage over her. She does mm -hmm. the job even without much of my help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think the um, uh, the greatest thing is commitment, of course, prayer, mm -hmm. asking the Lord to help you, mm -hmm. and uh, also having. To go through the training mm -hmm. that now opens your mind on the curriculum mm -hmm. and because it's a 
student student oriented kind of kind of curriculum mm. uh, at a particular level then you the student will be able to the learner will be able to go on mm. without much of your help uh, yes. in uh, this curriculum the more you go mm. the less the teacher is required the trainer the instructor is required mm -hmm. in uh, class mm -hmm. in day to day learning of the child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and that's one of the advantages of the curriculum we use accelerated christian education so that you don't feel unable to help you you the way you have been trained and the child can work on their own mm -hmm. it really yeah. helps <clears throat> yes now the next question what if i'm not good with children <laughs> mm. Well, uh, there is no one who should be bad with the children. <laughs> that is what I think. Because why should you be bad with children? Anyway, I understand it's not being bad with children, really, yeah, yeah. but that you are, uh, no, you, you, you don't have that natural gifting and ability to deal with children. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Therefore, you feel like there are so there are other people who are more gifted than you are. <laughs> Anyone who has, who is, uh, I would say, uh, uh, is uh, one for, for one born again. I would say anyone mm -hmm. can be gifted uh, with children because they don't require so much uh, gift anointing to work with them. Mm -hmm. You, if you are a parent, then you know you have a. You have a responsibility over your children, yes. and uh, parenting is loving children, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, Christian parenting mm -hmm. is loving uh, children like Christ would have them. Had you, have you loved them? Mm -hmm. And now, what do children require? They require attention. Yes. Give them. Children love fun. <laughs> have fun with them, and. <laughs> As, as adults, we need to have fun because we, sometimes some of the programs you're running are stressing us so much. But you need to sometimes just go crazy and, oh, and sing songs. Oh, and children will come. And children will come. I remember one time I went to a town here and just started doing crazy things there. And the children started coming. And uh, that, uh, that that is... Uh, and then I also see that and I am a Sunday school teacher. I, I just appointed myself a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> and I've, I've done that. And uh, I find that when you are more relaxed with children, mm. the more you are able to impact on them. Mm. But the other thing is get prepared. Mm. Don't just go and do the, just the crazy things. Mm. No, but get prepared. You have only one thing that you have to do mm. with a child. One lesson you want them to learn. Mm -hmm. Then be a storyteller. Mm -hmm. Compose songs that you can compose. If mm -hmm. you can compose them yourself, you can ask for a, a person to, to help you compose. Mm -hmm. I'm talking now like a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> but uh, in class, it's the same thing. Oh, yeah. Be creative mm -hmm. with the children and learn to also see, uh, mm -hmm. see how they are feeling because they show their feelings so quite fast. Mm -hmm. So there is... There should be no one who should give this excuse that mm -hmm. they are not good with children. Mm -hmm. Because I would want that no one should be bad with children. <laughs> Thank you for that. And, I, and of course, I we understand and personally I do because that's what I thought when I heard about homeschooling. I wondered, I'm not good. I'm not naturally endowed, I think, with handling children. Until I got our children is when I understood um, of course, someone once said you're the best placed. If God has given you that child, it's because you're the best placed person to handle that child. Mm. God has endowed you specifically and specially to handle that particular child that he has given you. So, looking to him who has given you, like he said, pray, uh, definitely, and I pray for our children a lot because I don't want to mishandle, I want to trust the Lord to give me wisdom mm. to know what to do. So you're the best place, that's number one, so that's to your advantage from the Lord. And the next one also, I find that the training we are given also helps us mm. in terms of knowing what to do 
are the instructional manuals so that you just have to be to loosen up mm -hmm. <laughs> like you're saying and you will find you will manage mm -hmm. by the way i am sincere in this because i am one of those who asked that question when we were starting and i know the lord just endows you and your children will enjoy yeah <laughs> when you loosen up you know you can't be shy with your children they will yes mm -hmm. so that one is that um Aren't you compromising? That's the, the next one. The quality of the education of a child when you homeschool? Well, I, I understand when you say compromise. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> that one is one of the questions that I asked myself mm -hmm. when we started. Mm -hmm. uh, wanted, I wanted to know, is this ACE a curriculum mm -hmm. that uh, is able to give quality education for my child mm -hmm. and uh, what is the track record mm -hmm. of this curriculum are there people who are evidence mm -hmm. and witness of this kind of curriculum mm -hmm. and uh, I found yeah there are many people mm -hmm. this curriculum has ran for I don't know how many years but it's for decades mm -hmm. and if, if, even if you, you don't use SE the other Christian curriculum curricula that are uh, even older and therefore they have an experience with children. So the standard is top-notch, I would say. And uh, I have read books about people, I've seen evidence of people who have, have finished uh, the curriculum and they are doing very well. So because of that, uh, because of the international standardization of education and we know that it is uh, it is within the confines of that standard, standardization, mm -hmm. then I am sure. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it is just keep the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, Genesis to Revelation. Then I knew this, physics, chemistry, history, all the other subjects are there mm -hmm. and they are taught up to standard. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was critical for us until I, I, I know, I'm hopeful that before I finish this series, God can give us opportunity to uh, interview a, a student or two. Mm. Well, they are now not students who have been through the system. And we can see that they are leading normal lives. <laughs> and they really, the internet abounds with those testimonies yeah, that true. assured us that we are on track, that it is okay. Because every parent will ask this question. Mm. Am I doing a disservice to my child? Mm. Um, and, and I think also maybe just to mention before I leave that question, is that I think also when people, what I've realized when people ask that question, they are looking at sometimes um, our Ke Kenyan dream, I, I don't know, will they qualify for the big subjects, you know, uh, the big careers, yes. not the big careers, mm -hmm. uh, and you wonder can they qualify? But you see, the, the, the issue is we are not homeschooling so that they can be those big careers. We are homeschooling also so that we can help them get into the pathway of God's will for them. Mm -hmm. So if the will of God is for them, for one of those big ones, fine. But if the will of God is for them differently, we lead them that way. Mm -hmm. So I think also sometimes the quality question is about those big ones. Eh? Mm -hmm. So can they go to tertiary? Colleges or university, do they have they qualified? I think we have already laid a foundation of mm -hmm. um, how the curriculum is because mm -hmm. we have said that it's, it is ISO certified mm -hmm. and therefore there are all the parameters to ensure that the, the child is able to move from one stage to the other. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about uh, tertiary, uh, really we are talking about uh, uh, tertiary colleges and universities. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they can mm -hmm. because um, there are structures mm -hmm. and systems that ensure that that happens. Mm -hmm. And because the exams are standardized internationally, mm -hmm. then they can go to any university. Mm -hmm. um, there's many universities out there, mm -hmm. out in the country that accept this uh, SEE or other, um, maybe uh, um, education curricula, mm -hmm. and even better than maybe Kenya. Mm -hmm. But even in Kenya, mm -hmm. I know we know students who have gone to KU, Kenyatta mm -hmm. University, mm -hmm. University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. Jekwart, mm -hmm. Nazarene University, Desta mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. 
and many other universities. USIU are not a lot. So we, we know that uh, they are, their, their qualification is accepted in uh, Kenyan universities and even universities outside this country. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I just also to add, I had a testimony from one of the young people who was in one of the universities who said he finds it easier now in college because they have been taught right from the system to learn to plan their own goals, you know, plan their work. So they find it easier rather than where a person has to think what to do. Uh, because of their training in this system. Now, the last one, I know there could be many, but we knew we can't do so much. <laughs> what if I have no training in a subject matter? You know, my child is doing mm, chemistry, I'm not a chemistry teacher, or English, I'm not a English teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, you know, the, I like the, I'm not an English teacher, I'm, I'm not a mathemat mathematics teacher, mm -hmm. but there are some you are strong in. Yes. That is a good place to start. Mm -hmm. That uh, <clears throat> God has endowed us with some gifts, academic gifts that we can help our children in. Mm -hmm. And because it's holistic education, mm -hmm. there are also extracurricular activities mm -hmm. that we are endowed in. My wife is very athletic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, but, uh, and, uh, oh, well, not really athletic. I am the one uh, a little more athletic here. Mm -hmm. but now, she's also very highly endowed in science subjects. Mm -hmm. uh, is it math? Is it uh, biology? These science, uh, science subjects. Mm -hmm. But now, I'm also I'm endowed more on, in um, ling uh, languages, Kiswahili, English, mm -hmm. Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, the art, art subjects, um, I don't know whether they're called middle science or middle art mm -hmm. subjects. So I am, I'm good at those subjects. Mm -hmm. So now, when, when where she's weak, I am strong. Mm -hmm. I am, uh, I am um, when I, where I'm weak, she is strong. Mm -hmm. Now, um, that that is it. Mm -hmm. uh, that we are able to complement each other. Mm -hmm. There must be something you want to say when mm -hmm. we both are not able to handle a subject. Mm -hmm. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think just adding on to what he's saying is the fact that um, for one, <coughs> the, the subject matter itself. Mm -hmm. I think at, now following the system we use accelerated Christian education they do a lot of explaining so thankfully it's uh, working with the child to ensure they have understood and if they haven't mm -hmm. the first thing we do is first go there mm -hmm. and try to understand the what they are saying mm -hmm. and most of the time like we're saying if you've been to school at least up to form four mm -hmm. you can be able to understand what a child is doing and when that is too much, uh, I thank God now in our age, I mean we have Google, mm -hmm. <laughs> we have YouTube, and sometimes some of these have been very helpful mm -hmm. in helping us understand something. And also in our circle of influence now that by the grace of God we have worked with young people in campus, mm -hmm. we will have some who are teachers and teaching specific subjects so you can also go to that level and sometimes when it's something that you can't do within the house uh, the the umbrella body that covers us mm. also has made provision for some of that including lab work and all that you can go ahead and work with mm. the lab concerning that yeah mm -hmm. so thank you so much for joining me today i trust you you have been ministered to and blessed and if there are any other questions you can handle them in another video so what would you say as a parting shot <laughs> well uh, i would say that uh, when you are thinking of becoming a parent when you're married and god <laughs> will uh, you are hoping he's going to give you children then start you of course have to start thinking about where you will how you will educate your children, what you will need to do with them. One of the greatest um, advice that we got and example that we got is from a role model. 
and we saw how the, the, uh, the children who are being homeschooled were turning out. And we were so thankful that we were turning out well. And because we believe that education is a system of discipleship so that we are able to help the heart of a child, the mind of a child, to love God with all their hearts, their minds, their souls, and with their strength, then I believe that homeschooling is the way to go. It has challenges, but it's the way to go. It has uh, ups and downs. There are a few uncertainties, but we still believe that it is uh, a good way to put your faith in God because uh, you have to do your best and you leave the rest to God. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. I trust we have answered some of your questions and if you have any others, you can always uh, share in the comments and maybe we can do another video again to just answer some of those questions But check out this playlist right here where I have compiled most of the video all the videos really I'm doing on homeschooling and on various topics I pray that that will be a blessing as well. We are still doing this series So look out for our next video on homeschooling. I trust that it will be a blessing to you. So until then it is Bye, Bye from us. From us.